Cool. So now we found these for the key. I was like, I wonder if it's a door that leads into a place, not just like a treasure chest or whatever. All right, cool. So now we completed two of the quests we need to do out here. You'll love to see it. I think that's pretty much everything we need to do while we were here. I don't think... Let's see. So we did this. Um, the Vindictive Giselle. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah. Just want to make sure we're not in the area that they're supposed to be. Right? No. That's over here. Okay. Cool. Just want to make sure. And that being the case, let's switch back to... Yeah, let's switch back to this. Cool. Progress. I guess there was a shorter way back, considering we can just go through there, but, you know. We wanted to use the foundry key. Hey, guys. Not looking for a fight. Not looking for a fight. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, look at Jonathan go. All right. Unfortunately, I don't think there's a way that's faster across the bridge, which actually probably makes sense. I imagine they're using the bridge as a way to slowly load in the next area. Like, that's all low detail out there now, and now that we're moving across the bridge, it's actually loading the high-quality stuff on the other side. You know. Standard video game stuff. That's probably, for me, one of the most exciting things about the next generation, of how it's actually going to change the design. Like, see, like this. The fact that we move too quickly across the bridge means that there actually has to be a little load there. Yeah, like, the, the actual design of games themselves can fundamentally change now that we're not, you know, beholden to the, the, the slow loading of a mechanical hard drive. All right. Let's go have a little chat. Now, the question is, what are we going to tell Edwina? Hmm. I mean... Neither option seems especially heinous. The only thing is, maybe we talk to Booth? First? I think it's over this way, right? Yeah, she's over there. Yeah, like, I think that, for me, is the most exciting thing that the next generation is going to bring. Oh, hey, Archer. Are, are the changes that can happen because you're no longer, like waiting to load in levels like you know the classic example is like games like uncharted and the new tomb raider where you know you're slowly shimmying through crevices because they're loading in these environments that have to be very tightly compacted to make sure that they can actually load in and, and maintain like the data that you're looking at all right edwina we have some bad news and some bad news good evening what would you like first hello again dr reed what do you want Ooh, actually, do we want to... Mm, personal question first. Yeah. Tell me your feelings about Booth's belief in Yeah, because we, we, we read that letter. It makes him look weak in front of the boys. That's my feeling about it. But ghosts don't scare me. You don't I, believe he really saw I don't something. think the thing is ghosts. All I know is that a real man keeps his fears to himself if he wants to be obeyed. Man, you're a very unsupportive uh, partner, I gotta say, Edwina. Okay. We got all the hints from her. Goodbye. I'm going to hold off on talking to her before I talk to him. Perhaps we should have listened to what the How's it going? What do you want? Oh, just chatting. I know. Why is she like this? So, you believe monsters are real? I know you believe monsters are real, Booth. As a monster, I find I that very encouraging. One, but no one believes me. Hmm. Yeah, tell me, uh, tell me what you saw. Tell me what you saw. It was a few years ago. Clay Cox was still the boss. Then. Yep. He'd sent me to the shipyard to find out who was stealing tools and ropes at night. Go on. 
Uh huh. It was an old lady with a limp. It looked frail and crooked. Oh no, old Bridget ain't frail. Grab a bloody beam and lift it like it was a stick. I know one one person who's like. Do you know what it was? Believes in us, right? Long teeth, but I could I couldn't see his face. You 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 believe in me? Moved towards me and I hit it. And then it jumped and vanished in the shadows. You could because you know Edgar has ulterior motives for wanting to hang out with us. With the fog and the wind, and the boats creaking. No, yeah. That night I saw the fucking sewer dog for real. It's not a beast like the stories say. It's the ghost of an old woman. I mean, it. it's not a me. ghost, but sure. Let's go with that. Uh, now we have all the hints on him too. Are your friends mocking you? Even if Weena told me once to never speak about it, but I know. Oh yeah. I saw. Edgar you. wants the fang. Not human. He wants the F. He wants to make a midnight F appointment. Goodbye, Mr. And we are not DTF. Down to Fang, man. At least not with Edgar. He's too mm, weird. Maybe Booth, though. Good evening, Miss Cox. Hello again, Dr. Reed. What do you want? Hmm. Okay. So we got all of that. All of this. I managed to reach the mass grave in Southwark. It was... Yep, I've never been to the mass grave before, ever. It was the first time I ever laid eyes on it. It was terrible. Hmm. Now, the question is, what do we want to tell her? Like, what, what are the benefits of either, right? You know, hmm. What do we want? This feels like a good, a good vote. Let's see. Let's go, Edwina. First one is dead. The other one is lost. What, what, what do people want? I'm kind of feeling... Mm, you know, I don't want to bias the poll. Let's say that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure what decision. We'll make that a group choice. I'm... I don't know. Oh, we got one for dead. Hmm. Hmm. Dead's leading. Ooh, timer's almost done. What does Edwina need to know? And the answer is they're dead. I'm afraid those <laughs> bastards, as you call them, are in the mass grave. Dead. Shit. That money would have been useful. Well, I'll tell my boys to avoid the place if it's that dangerous. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty gnarly. Everybody should avoid that place until further notice. Okay then, Doctor. Yeah, no, it, it went it uh, really well. Uh, Sammy, thanks for asking. The wet boot boys thank you for your help. There was uh, an ad that needed to be quickly re-edited, so I see what you have to sell? it had to get done for money, that night, so it could get uh, running right away. Hmm. Yeah. So these are the the good trigger parts that we need. So. Oh no, it's not good. Oh no, we good. We need good handle parts. God damn it. No, but thanks for asking. No, it went really well actually. God damn it, we're never gonna get the parts, eh? Why don't we? Why don't we actually quickly uh, pop up to our uh, hideout, and we'll see. What do we need? Okay, so I've been running with the good truncheon, which I like. What do we need for this? Yeah, we need tiny good handle parts, which we do not have. Oh, we can actually do an upgrade on it here. Hmm. Ooh, extra stun points. Yeah, let's go with that. Okay, so this thing can really lay down the stun. And this, we still don't have. I think we need good handle parts. Yeah, we have none. So we need three of those. And we can add that. Yeah, unfortunately. Okay. Still on the lookout for more parts. Uh, 
I love how Edwina definitely sees us teleporting up and down from there. Doesn't really care. No one's happy, huh? Alright, so we got that quest done. So why don't we also talk to... Where are you? Man, there are so many quests. And yeah, we want to talk to you. Okay. And you're right around the corner somewhere here. Yeah. Like, Edwina does, like, not care. She's she's too busy running a gang to care that we are definitely teleporting up and down. On the regular. Last I saw, he was over this way. Man, this game has moments where it really, like, for me, definitely has, like, a moment of awe. Like, the way the soft lighting through the fog looks through here, where there's all these different, like, you know, like, changes between the white lights, the soft light, the blue from the ground. Ah, this game is gorgeous. Like, there are moments where it just, like, you get to look at it and you're like, damn, like, they really composed a beautiful scene. Like, some really thoughtful design went into that stuff. Oh, yeah. Wait a second, I think I went the wrong way. Yeah, I think it's over this way. Yeah, this is also another game I would like, or, you know, I would love to see a sequel because I would love to know what ray tracing could bring to this. You know, now that you have all this, like, you know, reflective surfaces, all this scattered soft lighting. All right, where are you? Oh, there you are. You're in the bar. Last couple times, I saw you wandering around. So few clients. How you doing, buddy? No one dares Good evening, Mr. Feeling a little bit better? What? Ah, oh, you're that doctor. Yes, I am that doctor. Thanks for asking. Ooh. That's right, we learned more about you. Yeah, I forgot about this. Yeah, he literally saved you from drowning. I was a wreck back then. You're not a wreck now? Um. Ooh. Um, we know... That... Sean is, like, most distressed by Dyson. Hmm, this is a sad story, which is true. Hmm, no, that totally makes sense. You know, belief in the supernatural lets you explain things that otherwise stress out the human mind. It's, you know, often why people say religion gives people comfort because it lets them justify things that otherwise don't have logical or main answers, right? Hmm. What do we want to do here? And yet you're still drinking. Mm, were you ever thankful? Sure, let's go with that. For what he did for you. Sean Hampton really acted like a saint that day. But I suppose I'm just another lost soul who doesn't deserve No, dude, come on. Hmm. Yeah, so we need two more hints on him. All right, let's see if we can get something from this. Mr. Delaney. I placed a flower for you where it happened, just as you asked. Really? That's, yeah. That's so kind. I told you I'd do you the solid, man. Someone would... Well, thank you, Doctor. It's nothing, really. And I'm sorry for your loss. What? No, I, I didn't know them. No car was supposed to park there that day. Hmm. Stupid bastard. Why did he park there? You're the man who hit that bomb. I don't want to talk about it. Leave me ah. alone. Now we're getting to the meat of it. Hmm. Let's go with how come I sense your guilt? I, I like that's the I think that's the next logical Why is that? Yes. Did you not think violence was an acceptable political tool? I still believe our fight was just killing an innocent couple who were just at the wrong yeah. place at the Because he, he, he doesn't believe in violence to change the world, but he wants, you know, the system to, to get destroyed. He, he wants to break the machine, as it were. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, he did make him a terrible mistake. You made a mistake. A terrible mistake. Maybe yeah, I mean... 
but that does not mean there's a difference between that i mean you're no I seymour i did not want to kill anyone i did not hide in the shadow to kill on like purpose. learning about That's seymour makes everyone defense. seem like a thousand percent better ah oh, damn it we missed the hint Oh, that's okay. I want you to remember the bomb, Dyson. Tell me about it. No, oh yeah, he definitely died that day too. I don't, I don't want to remember it. Hmm. Yeah, why use a bomb? Why use a bomb? What were you trying to destroy? The Dawson and Dawson ammunitions factory. Mm -hmm. A symbol of violence against the people. Our group wanted to destroy it to send a message. Okay. The victims. They were not the time. Uh, it sounds like they're I just collateral. So much time figuring out the perfect moment. I used a short fuse. No car had ever parked there. They all died. No, Dyson. They didn't all die. I met mm -hmm. a boy who survived the yep. explosion. I never heard of an injured boy. No. Not a scratch on him. That's the thing. I suspect he wasn't in the car when it exploded. In the car? Y you mean? Yes, Dyson. Yes. You killed his parents. Why tell me this? I don't know. Perhaps one day you will talk to him. Come on. Adopt a Rufus. Clean your act up. Find him? That's easy. Most of the time, he's in the same place. Come on. Place you never want to go back to. Okay. Fortunately, we missed the hint or uh, the hint on him back then. Damn. Just as likely to cause a problem as to solve All right, well, the, inv in the uh, investigation still succeeded. It's just we missed that one thing. I Good is there any other avenue to talk to him? No, unfortunately. I mean, we did get all like the conversations, but we just missed the, the last Goodbye, hint there. That's Mr. fine. I prefer to go with my gut and lose that than save scum and just get everything correct. I mean, I mean, I've already done like the quote unquote like optimal playthrough so it's not like we're not having uh we're, we're, we're more i think committed to the role playing of the version of jonathan that we have okay all right so dealt with that cool and we won't do that at the moment what about you oh that's right yes yeah, 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 yeah. So we need to get his letter, right? Where is this exactly? The one thing I wish this game had is like a button here where to see on the map. It is? Okay, it's right here. So we can go back to the hospital now. Because there's a whole bunch more conversation stuff that we have to get through. So let's just go back. Yeah, this is the, the best. I think the best way? Mm, yeah, sure. Well, we'll take it right in a second. Oh, sweet, delicious rats. The treat that always gives back. Should be able to go through here. Perfect. Oh, don't want to deal with you. Yep, yep, no, no, I know. Come on. <laughs> yeah, no, it does. Run, 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 run. Come on, Jonathan. Oh, God damn it. We're trying to get to the hospital. Yeah, no, I know, I know. You guys aren't psyched to see me. Or maybe you're like too psyched to see me. It's kind of hard to tell. <laughs> um, that's a bad time for Jonathan to uh, whoop, <laughs> get stuck. <laughs> Just like a gun pointed directly at his forehead. Okay, so we should be able to jump across the bridge over here. I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's down here. Cool. Ooh. Oh, it's only stable here? What the hell? Why is it only stable here? 
Oh, right. Ah, we're gonna have to give that guy some meds. I may just have to look that up to remember where he is. Because I have honestly no memory of where that house was that we went to go um, break him out of. You, you would think so, wouldn't you? You'd think, you know, the second uh, you get converted, there's like a welcome package. Kind of like in how some more uh, socialized countries, you know, when a uh, family has a new baby, they send them like, you know, a... Basically like a starter kit. <laughs> you know, they think uh, someone would be charting this out for all the vampires. Uh... I feel like I want to knock first, but it won't let me. Hey, hey, doctor. I want to see those hands up. Where's the skull? Okay. Skull's not out. We're safe. Jonathan, at last. I've been worried sick. Have you solved the case of our poor Sean Hampton? Don't worry, Edgar. The reputation of Pembroke Hospital is secure. Uh -huh. Sean Hampton was not the guilty party. Yep, we're good. Is that true? Oh, good news. Good news. Oh, yeah, you indeed. know that skull is it goes through like a daily hot water bath. Hmm. What do we want to ask about? What, what do you think he would know? I, I guess let's let's ask about the Ascalon Club first. What do you know of the Ascalon Club? Uh, not as much as I would like. There have always been rumors about yep. a secret society of vampires operating in the interests of the British Empire. Though I've never met a member. Hmm. Well, I mean, I I wouldn't say a member. It seems more like he is like the sledgehammer that the the Ascalon Club wielded. I crossed paths with one, a terrifying creature going by the name of Fergal. He was like he was sent by the seven Ascalon feet tall to exterminate the scowls of the East End. By the stole, Jonathan. If vampires are eliminating their own progeny, then. Dark times are upon yeah, us. basically like a Darker micro, like vampire civil war. Do you think Lady Ashbury would know of them? Well, she might know something. Jonathan, our beloved lady is not one for social dalliances, nor the assemblies of dark orders. She's a woman of superior. Okay, but she's also not an idiot. Of course, like she's been around for a long time. You think she wouldn't know a thing or two? Sometimes you're a little too precious, Edgar. Does the name Old Bridget ring any bells? I've never heard of her. Why? The patient Um, I mean... I must confess, I don't know them all. No, it's just... No, no, just, you know, met. um... A very I interesting person. I had thought that perhaps... By the don't, skull, don't tell him. You've met another vampire. Don't tell him about... Uh, I would appreciate an introduction if No. We should not do that. I found Harriet Jones. Bridget would be very she's angry. Much the same old embittered woman she was, only she's been made a scowl. Her transformation did not go well. No, she's kind of hulking out. Well, why not bring her here? We could learn mm, so much by I think she's where she exactly needs to be. Yeah. She she that. can't really move from she the armchair move. she's in. Perhaps we could learn more about the degeneration of scowls. Perhaps, mm. but she could also belong to a new species. We know so little of the laws that dictate vampire reproduction. Oh yeah, for Edgar, like, Jonathan is his number one choice, but you know, he wants to make sure he plays the field. Like, Swansea, you, you, you gotta find, maybe say, someone with a pulse. Were there any studies made by your order on the subject? Uh, not that I'm aware of. I will transmit you Maybe someone who you can actually go get a coffee with during the day. <laughs> a pleasure as always, Edgar. Oh, don't, 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 don't lead him on, Jonathan. Come on. Where's the skull? Where's the skull? Uh. Don't like it. The skull's not in plain view. Something's gone wrong. All right. Ooh. Yeah, this is restock. So most of the cabinets should be full again. Ah, 
How's everyone doing? Everyone looking good besides Harriet, I guess. Before she hulked out. Hmm, anything, uh, oh man, I kind of want to talk to, uh, where is he? It's on the, I always forget what side the outdoor morgue is. No matter how many times I've walked through here and having played the game before, and there he is. <laughs> yeah, you know, Swansea is just living out his fantasy of like, maybe I can, maybe, maybe, maybe v me vampire too. I'm already allergic to the sun. I actually had a friend growing up who did have a legit, you know, sun allergy. Uh, so pretty much any time we went out where there was lines, she basically, like, got to go to the front automatically. How you doing, buddy? Good evening. Oh, it, I mean, it was definitely not easy, but she, she took it in stride. It wasn't like, you know, she didn't, like, like a vampire start, like, burning up or whatever, but... She wasn't supposed to be in the sun for like any prolonged amount of time. Curios, really. Which is fine, because she was super goth, so that was cool. Of course, you have nothing of use. Yep, nothing, 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 nothing we need. Oh yeah. She was like mega goth, like, you know... Mistress of the darkness kind of energy. So, you know, the sun allergy thing just kind of fit right into that. It was perfect. Hmm, now let's see. What else? Oh, we also wanted to talk with uh, Lady Ashbury. That's what it was. I was like, there's another reason we came back to the hospital. Oh, yeah, she, 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 she was a hoot. Um, just taking notes on this bed, huh? Yes, soft. Firmness, eight. Needs more pillow. It is good to see you again, Jonathan. How are you? I'm better than one might expect, Lady Ashley. You know, considering the wild stuff Dr. that's been going on. Swansea has asked me to investigate the recent disturbances in the hospital caused by skulls. Mm-hmm. Really? What do you mean? Well, Harriet's a skull, so... <laughs> I mean, I don't... Okay, so I... Uh, hmm, interesting. So I definitely think there's a hidden menace. But let's I go with this first. The most intriguing skull. An elderly woman answering to the name... Oh, absolutely. You know that she's like, you know, waxing poetic the about the... Lungs. Because, you know, in in consuming the people, you, you at least experience some of their feeling and memory. You would hope that she would at least have a little something to write. Hmm. Skulls can be peaceful is probably the, the wildest revelation. Skulls can lead a peaceful existence like us. They are even able to nourish themselves yep. by feeding on corpses they don't need the living. the flesh of the dead. How vile. Please, Jonathan, let's change the subject. Come on. You can't tell me that's a crazy revelation. Skulls of London have gone into hiding. Both mortals and immortals plot their extermination. Yes. Scouts we should be making uh, allies of them. Society. Yeah. They are the shame of their genitors. No. The Welcome the men. That created them. Exactly. Such double standards. You feel like you, you know, humans should be accepting of uh, Econ. We should be accepting of Skull. Yes, they are greasy. Yes, they don't have the best hygiene. But as long as they're only eating the dead, who cares? There is something ominous closing around me, Lady Ashbury. Something spies upon me from the shadows. Something cruel and wicked. Mm-hmm. Whatever do you mean, Jonathan? Well, it was... Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't think... Of... I forgot that it went right here already. If Sean Hampton and Harriet were not the guilty parties, <laughs> then... I saw... I know, I feel like there's not a, a lot of judgment here. You know, Elizabeth, drinking the blood of terminal patients. Jonathan, infamous rat connoisseur. Do you suspect someone? Yeah, is there anyone on your uh, top of the list who would be up to some wild conniving and scheming? 
especially whilst hunters roam the city streets. Okay. So you really don't have any information. Goodbye for now, my Lady Ashbury, I feel like for someone who's been around a while, you would be a little more up to date on what's going on. Yes. Maybe, maybe this is like just like her also like tasting menu. Um, gentleman was a three out of five, a little too um, coppery. Would have wished he had a better diet. Maybe more on the lean meats. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. He definitely had an oaky finish with a hint of cranberry. All right. I think. Hmm. Good evening, Milton. Good Milton, evening, Doctor. Still trying please to be our life. savior. Do you have anything? <laughs> I'd like to see your. <laughs> Wise choice, Dr. Reed. Oh, I, I really hope Lady Ashbury's journal is entirely a, a, a tasting description of all the people that she's met. Ah, oh, I don't want these trigger parts. God damn it. I want handle parts. And I have no interest in your shotgun. Hmm. All right. So we still need the headache meds to help you. Oh, 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 oh. Where can we, uh, oh, God damn it. I forget where we overhear this. Yeah, I want her to like have like a a tasting uh, memoir. Okay, where can I overhear these guys? God damn it! Oh, they were so close. I forget where. I think it's over here. No, that's not it. Hmm. Where the hell do we listen to those guys? I would have guessed it was here, but it didn't give me the prompt when I walked by, but it maybe it was because we uh, already waited too long. All right, well, Jonathan, for another time. We'll keep an ear out for you, too. Because there are some hints we still need for them. Hmm. All right, so we talked to both of them. Mortimer Goswick's place is right over this way, so we could go do that. I feel like that's one one final good thing we could do. Come on, let me heal, let me heal, let me heal. <laughs> there we go. All right, the house should be right up here. Hey guys. Best be moving on. No, 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 no. I'm gonna fight all of you. All right, I think we can get in through here. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we got ourselves another hideout. Love it. Oh, yeah, sure. May as well. Who cares? Refill all. Hmm, where is this letter? All right, there's the other entrance. I think this unlocks it. Yeah. Yeah, this is why we couldn't get in here. Oh no. <laughs> I mean, we could fight them, but we also need to get a letter. All right. Where did he, ah, there it is. All right. This is a suicide note, by the way. My dear mother, when you find this letter, I'll be gone. I want you to know that I don't leave because of you. I leave this world because of the crushing weight that existence puts upon existence puts upon me. These times are too much for me. Sometimes I feel like Baudelaire's verses have been written as an echo from my own heart. When the low, heavy sky weighs like a lid upon the spirit aching for the light, and all the wide horizon's line is hid by a black day sadder than any night. It's as beautiful as it is painful, Mother. I can't suffer it anymore. I don't want you to try to convince me. It would only delay the inevitable. For I would do it again if by any chance you managed to save me once. Ah. In this letter, Mortimer Goswick does nothing to hide his desire yep. to die. Yep. I could give it to his mother, but doing so would betray his trust. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's... It's locked. That's a tough choice to make. 
I mean, the Hippocratic Oath, if we're going to be a, a real doctor about it, would definitely say give the mother to the, uh, the letter to the mother. Yeah, oh no, this is just miserable. Ah, what did we get? Fertile belly of the beast. Ah, yes. And why was he holding on to this exactly? Apparently everyone is just really psyched about reading about vampires. Vampires create their own foul progeny with blood. We all know that. Some of us witness the process even. But what is really going on there? Is it the only way for a vampire to breed? Let's review what we know so far. When willing to create a progeny, a vampire will not bite but give its blood to drink. Most of the victims die when bitten, but some of them survive and turn into leeches themselves. This only happens when they have assimilated the vampire blood one way or another. It is not the predator's bite, but its blood that infects the victim who will turn if he or she survives the suffering of the metamorphosis. It also seems that a vampire can breed by having intercourse. The vampire mates to produce a child. Sexual in intercourse between vampire and human rarely produce any birth, but some of them tried anyway. A vampire's gestation is only a few weeks short, and the pain is almost unbearable for the mother. If she is mortal, she will not survive the birth. The vampire comes out of her womb by tearing apart her entrails. If the mother is a blood drinker, it will probably survive and regenerate. The newborn vampire will quickly grow and turn into an adult vampire in only a few months. Yeah, that's that. I, I can't imagine um, many vampire uh, many va many vampires with uteruses are like super psyched about that. They're like, um, can't we just maybe turn some more humans? Why don't we just like turn like you know um, another twenty something and pretend it's our adopted kid? How about that? How about instead of literally it bursting through my entrails, we do that instead? Hmm. Hmm. You know, it's like a vampire adoption. Why would you do that? You know, unless you know, vampires born through that are, let's say, more powerful. I don't know. I don't think that's answered. Hey guys. See you guys. Nope, don't know what you're talking about. Now, while we're... Oh, are they down there? Oh, goddammit. Oh, he's heading over. Good sign, good sign, good sign. Do, 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 do. Just not a vampire, just walking down. Yep, nope. You guys hang out there. I think we can do it from here. Yeah, exactly. I feel like that should be the thing. It's like, okay, sure, we can we can have like a vampire birth, but I get to punch you through the stomach first and rip out your entrails. Hmm, how about that? How about we make that a fair deal? I think we can do it from here, right? Come on. Yeah, no. Yes, no. Where the hell do we do this from? Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm not crazy. Yeah, that should be the, the trade-off. The vampire with the uterus gets to rip out the entrails of its mate beforehand. Oh. I mean, he did. I mean, he sent us. I was so afraid to leave the hospital, not to be seen with you. We survived this shit together. That's all that matters. I know you did your best. Ship them, ship them, ship them. You know, their fears brought them together. Fuck the war, right? And fuck them all. Fuck the war. Fuck them all. I mean... We, we can keep that secret. Hey guys, you having a good smooch? I'm, I'm fully supportive of all the smooching, come on. If you're ever looking for, for a room, uh, you can use mine during the night. Just, you know, put a sign outside to let me know. Hello again, Mr. Blight. Good evening, Dr. Reed. You're doing your rounds as usual. 
Uh, are you doing your rounds? Eh? Uh, um, so, how do you feel how about you Oswald? Feel about Oswald Thatcher? You are more than friends, aren't and you? I'm very supportive. Hell yeah. I love Oswald. We knew we wouldn't survive the war without each other. But I am terrified, Doctor. What frightens you so much? I mean, People find out. <laughs> it's not a very tolerant time, Jonathan. It's more, well, you know, I never thought I'd love a man. Ooh. Ooh, um, I want to say, uh, man, I wish I could say both of these things at the same time. I won't say a word and enjoy your love. Like, I, I mm, mm. J Jonathan is sometimes a big old dummy. Sometimes I'm like, Jonathan, have you ever talked to another human before you became a vampire? I mean, to be fair, he was in medical school in the war, so maybe, you know, he's he's pushed some things into the back of his brain. Ooh, what do we want? What do we want? I'm kind of saying I won't say a word because I'm wanting, like, strictest confidence. Yeah, I guess, but the problem is, I like, I'm trying to tell him I'm very okay, and I, I won't, like, basically, I, I won't snitch. And I want you to be happy. Like I want, I want to say both of these things at the same time. But let's go with this. Enjoy your love, and enjoy life as long as you can, Mister Blight. Don't let anyone tell you Hell who yeah. you should love, or how you should love them. I appreciate your kind words, sir. But it ain't that easy. Uh, especially in the UK. It's also new to me. Yeah, no, I, I, I agree, Nicholas. I feel like this game suffers only a little bit of that but it's the problem of like when you're presenting conversation choices that have large like ramifications where like Goodbye, I would like to know exactly what Jonathan is about to say hey Oswald evening. Evening, Dr. Reed. ooh um sure let's go with this about your true feelings for Newton I love him I'm not ashamed to say it. He's the Excellent. best thing that ever happened to me. I can't imagine life without Oh, me. you are 100% right, Nicholas. Fallout 4 is terrible for that. So many conversations in that game do not go the way you think they will because of the like the wording in the the like the options on the screen. Um I kind of only I feel like Jonathan is very dumb sometimes. Like Jonathan has big himbo energy. <laughs> Why should you be ashamed? I'm not. I said. Uh, I think Newton is more like aware of how shitty the time that they live in is. I admire your honesty. It takes courage to stand up to society. Hell yeah. The world needs people like you to create change. Courage is what we needed in the trenches, walking death in the face every day. Mm. I speak plain. I, speak my mind. I guess when you face that, everything else seems pretty uh, simple. Before you saved me by the sewer. My only regret was I wouldn't be able to hold or kiss Newton again. I love him. That's well, I'm all. glad I could help you. Now I just need to solve your headache problem. <laughs> Newton is conflicted about his feelings okay. towards you. Would you like to talk about it, Oswald? It makes me sad, and <laughs> angry. Jonathan is using his vampire powers in, in a very aggressive tone, but he's saying such supportive things. It's very funny. <laughs> I'm certain he wasn't lying to me when he expressed his feelings. Yes. Newton still has to accept it, knowing he'll be seen as a queer, a fairy, less than a man in those simple-minded bigots eyes. Though he's more of a man than they'll ever be, so fuck them all. All right. I love it, Oswald. Yeah, like Jonathan's like... I support your choices, and I hope you find great happiness. And you're like, J John, you could just say that without the vampire powers. Like, I feel like they would be equally as receptive. Goodbye, Mr. Thatcher. Try to take care of yourself. Yeah, exactly. I want to call you a close friend. And you're like, uh, yeah, you could have just, you could have just said that, like for realsy. I mean, to be fair, Jonathan is a new vampire. He doesn't quite got a handle on like. When is it appropriate to, you know, wield the, the, the mighty mesmerized powers, but, you know. He's getting, he's getting there. It might take him a century or two. Alright, well, let's deal with the fallout of this. Don't waste your time with me. 
Man, this is a tricky situation. 